Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you guys a Legendary Duelist Yu-Gi-Oh! Booster Pack opening. I uh, got five packs of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Duelist uh, Booster Pack. This is actually a really old one compared to the fact that we have the uh, third Legendary Duelist uh, Booster Pack coming out uh, this month. Very excited for that one. But my sister actually got me uh, five packs of this set when she was um, out hanging with some friends. I think she... I uh, went to this like big mall and they had like uh, you know like a trading card stand and these were the only packs that she found which I thought was really cool she got me the whole box so awesome to open these up and see what we get um, very good cards for sure like the red eyes support but without enough talking obviously let's go ahead and see what we get yeah, I just told her to give me the whole box because I really can't uh, find these cards these packs anymore in store when I do I usually do try to pick them up we have the via Croyd cards in the pack uh, as well as the red eyes cards Inferno Fire Blast, uh, Legendary Fisherman, and for our uh, rare, we have a Rage of Kariushin. So this was the uh, one water monster for that uh, Legendary Fisherman support, which I do want to do a deck profile on that deck eventually for you guys. Still just kind of like putting ideas together for it, but hope to eventually. Uh, same with the uh, Amazonas deck. Want to do an update to that deck as well uh, soon. We got Amazonas Swordswoman, another Viacroid Connection Zone, uh, Armoroid. We have a Water Dragon Cluster, which I thought this was, for a second, you know, ooh, uh, Legendary Fisherman support, but this is actually its own deck as a whole. So it might do that one too. This seems to be like a more complicated version for sure, but um, we'll definitely try to make something work if I end up wanting to do a deck profile for the, um, you know, uh, chemistry deck that uh, Bastion ran. Oh, and kind of missed the rare as I pulled aside, but we have a Bonding D2O as well. So it's like kind of that support that works with it. And we have three packs left. Let's see how we finish it off. We have another Amazonist Swordswoman, Cyber Dark Keel, Amazonist Village, and we have an Ultra Rare Emergeroid Call. So this is uh, the counter trap for the Roids. I don't know if it's something they really needed, but it's an interesting trap for sure because it uh, banishes, um, I think, the other cards you use after you negate. Uh, the one that they tried to activate. And it does have some pretty cool art for the, you know, Viacroid cards also. So not too bad. We, yep. And I keep doing that too because the rare is behind it. But we have a Mixeroid for our rare as well from that. We have two packs left. We have a Bonding H2O from this one. Amazonist Archer. Cyberdark Horn. And we have a Super Viacroid mobile base for another Super. So from five packs that she cleared out of box, we got three hollows so far, so that's pretty awesome. And this is the definite difficult one to make, but I like how it like moves spaces, you know, so you can... I almost did it again, but I saved myself there. Cyberdark Cannon for our rare. But it like moves out of the extra deck so you can keep using it. So they kind of knew what they were going to do with the extra deck monster zone. But last pack. Kind of just destroying... This one kind of just ripped to shreds there. And we have a Cyber Dark Keel, Sphere Karibo, Legendary Fisherman, Bonding H2O, and for our rare, we have Cyber Dark Claw, which you guys know I did a Cyber Dark deck profile recently. So, um, you need a few more copies of the, um, what is it, the uh, Field Spell, but sadly I didn't pull any of those. But I hope you guys enjoyed the opening. Not bad, pulling three hollows in total from five packs, like I said. Uh, once again, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Kira Twig out.